In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful, colorful seven options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see, here I've added seven options here with different color combinations with the icons and you can give any color of your choice or if you can increase or decrease these uh, options as well. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangles rounded corner just click it here and then i'm going to give a custom size for this in the shape format make the height as 4.83 and the width as 3.23 shape outline you can make it no outline and i'm going to put it exactly in the middle here something like this and then i'm going to add the shapes which are looking like this okay so for this let me just go to insert shapes i'm going to select from the basic shapes the trapezoid just draw a tra trapezoid like this shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to rotate it with the help of this arrow just rotate it like this you can see here and i'm going to give some different color and I'm going to put it like this. So here the only thing which is different compared to this one as you can see here this is the rounded corner but whereas by default in PowerPoint only the rectangles uh, rounded rectangles only will come with the curved uh, the shapes you can see here the corners but here trapezoid it will not come. So what we can do is let me just increase the size a little bit and we can make it uh, the corner one which is rounded. So for that let me just go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes I'm going to choose the oval. Draw a small oval at the, cor at the corner by holding the shift key you can see here and I'm going to let me just zoom in so that you can see perfectly shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to put it exactly in this particular corner you can see here make sure that it should touch the corner here like this press ctrl d do the same thing for the other side as well this is all if you want you can uh, skip this particular step but just to make sure that this is our uh, uh, corner one rounded corner so i'm just going to align it properly so i'm just going to put it let me just align it you can see here the same thing press ctrl d to duplicate and bring this down you can see here i'm just going to make it like this and again press ctrl d and put it the other side as well All right. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going. So in this one, I have just reduced the size of this one. You can see here. Let me just select both of these. I have just made the shape format. I go to the shape format and make the height as 5.5 and 3.23. And for this four objects, I have make it 5.75 and 3.25. Just change the size, and it comes something like it looks something like this. Again, depending on the requirement, as I have mentioned, you can just change the color. I have just randomly picked some colors here. So before proceeding, let me just change the colors uh, of this. So I'm just going to use this color. So I'm going to select this one, go to the shape format, shape fill, use the eyedropper and I'm going to choose this color for this. Let me just choose the eyedropper quickly and select this color for this. I'm going to use this blue and let me just choose the bright blue here and then some different teal colors the other color I'm just going to choose the 
then let me just choose this color this looks perfect i'm going to delete this and then go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes choose the oval draw a small oval by holding the shift key you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make this as white and arrange it properly on each object you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and arrange it So you can see here I've added the rectangle so it's time to add some icons and text to it. It's time to add some text here so go to the insert text box add a text here I can I'm just saying this one option one center align make it bold you can increase it maybe 22 or 20 is sufficient and you can just change the color to maybe white then go to insert text box you can add some detailed text here equals lorem within bracket one i don't want this much large text so i'm just going to cut this out center align reduce the font size to maybe 14 and make it white and align it properly you can see here and then I'm going to select both of these. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and move it here. You can see here. Press Ctrl D again. Ctrl D. Just copy this one for each text. See, you can reduce the text or increase the font size it's up to you for example i can make a three lines also like this if it is not aligning properly i can reduce that one also so once this is done i'm just going to select this one press ctrl d and give a different color here the color should match with this with this color okay with this one hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit and make sure that this and this are properly aligned or i can just choose both of these and i can just go to the shape format align and i can just say align middle sorry align center so it is properly aligned like that all right so now press ctrl d to duplicate or before that one just i'm going to add the option here say this is option number one so i'm just going to type option zero one there press ctrl d to duplicate move this here a little bit down and we can arrange it later first let's add here you can see here then again press ctrl d you can see here So it's time to align both of this one align center you can see here why should we align this because when we are adding the line to it a connector that will be perfectly straight otherwise it will be uh, tilted it's a time consuming job but once it's done it, it looks very nice and then go to the insert shapes select the line i can draw the line and connect to this one you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate again connect this one press ctrl d connect to this you can see here press ctrl d and connect each one and hold the shift key select all these lines we just added and send this to back all right so you can see our design is almost ready then you can add some icons to it so you can go to the insert 
icons choose any icons depending on the requirement but in this case I'm going to choose the icons randomly so it's taking some time to get connected to the internet I think it's taking some time I don't know some problem is there so you can just choose any icons uh, from the list and then you can just add the icons and it's done so and then later on you can just give the same color here for example again use the same color use the eyedropper choose this color again for this eyedropper just keep on changing the colors based on the below rectangles let me just do this part and then the last one I think it is here so you can see here we have done the design you can just go and change this to option 2 here also option 2 like that you can change and then you can just add a title here or headline center align increase the size and we are done if you want to change the color of the uh, the slide you can just choose the slide and you can give some light gray color so it looks more professional and if you like to add some animations, you can add some simple animations to it.